It is time to explain myself. Let us stand up. What is known I strip away. I launch all men and women forward with me into the unknown. The clock indicates the moment. But what does eternity indicate? We have thus far exhausted trillions of winters and summers. There are trillions ahead and trillions ahead of them. Births have brought us richness and variety. And other births will bring us richness and variety. I do not call one greater and one smaller. That which fills its period and place is equal to any. Were mankind murderous or jealous upon you, my brother, my sister, I am sorry for you. They are not murderous or jealous upon me. All has been gentle with me. I keep no account with lamentation. What have I to do with lamentation? I am an acme of things accomplished, and I an encloser of things to be. My feet strike an apex of the apices of the stairs. On every step, bunches of ages and larger bunches between the steps. All below duly traveled, and still I mount and mount. Rise after rise bow the phantoms behind me. Afar down I see the huge first nothing. I know I was even there. I waited unseen and always, and slept through the lethargic mist, and took my time, and took no hurt from the fetid carbon. Long I was hugged close, long and long. Immense have been the preparations for me, faithful and friendly, the arms that have helped me. Cycles ferried my cradle, rowing and rowing like cheerful boatmen. For room to me, stars kept aside in their own rings. They sent influences to look after what was to hold me. Before I was born out of my mother, generations guided me. My embryo has never been torpid. Nothing could overlay it. For it, the nebula cohered to an orb. The long, slow strata piled to rest it on. Vast Vegetables gave it sustenance. Monstrous sauroids transported it in their mouths and deposited it with care. All forces have been steadily employed to complete and delight me. Now on this spot I stand with my robust soul. Cupid's power belittles, for Cupid tis who makes me shun my customary victuals. Of Effie, since that painful scene that left me broken-hearted, my appetite, erstwhile so keen, has utterly departed. My form, my friends, observe with pain, is growing daily thinner. Love only occupies the brain that once could think of dinner. Around me myriad waiters flit with meat and drink to ply men. Alone, disconsolate, I sit and feed on thoughts of Hymen. The kindly waiters hear my groan. They strive to charm with curry. They tempt me with a deviled bone. I beg them not to worry. Soup, white bait, entrees, fricassees, they bring me uninvited. I need them not, for what are these to one whose life is blighted? They show me dishes rich and rare, but ha, ah, my pulse no joy stirs. For savories I've ceased to care, I hate the thought of oysters. They bring me roast, they bring me boiled, but all in vain they woo me. The waiters softly mutter, foil. The chef, poor man, looks gloomy. So, Effie, turn that shell-like ear, nor to my sighing close it. You cannot doubt that I'm sincere, this ballad surely knows it. No longer spurn the suit I press, respect my agitation. Do change your mind and answer yes, and save me from starvation. Master of human destinies am I. Fame, love, and fortune on my footsteps wait. 
cities and fields I walk. I penetrate deserts and seas remote, and passing by hovel and mart and palace. Soon or late, I knock unbidden once at every gate. If sleeping, wait. If feasting, rise before I turn away. It is the hour of faith, and they who follow me reach every state mortals desire and conquer every foe, save death. But those who doubt or hesitate, condemned to failure, penury, and woe, seek me in vain and uselessly implore. I answer not, and I return no more. That time of year thou mayst in me behold, When yellow leaves, or none, or few do hang, Upon those boughs which shake against the cold, Bare ruined choirs where late the sweet birds sang. In me thou seest the twilight of such day, As after sunset fadeth in the west, Which by and by black night doth take away, Death's second self that seals up all in rest. In me thou seest the glowing of such fire, That on the ashes of his youth doth lie as the deathbed whereon it must expire, consumed with that which it was nourished by. This thou perceivest, which makes thy love more strong, to love that well which thou must leave ere long.